Welcome to EDU Aero Classroom. In this tutorial, we will learn about Euler's geometry and in which we will cover Euler's definitions, axioms, and postulates. According to Euler, a solid has shape, size, position, and can be moved from one place to another. The boundary of this solid is called the surface. Therefore, it is the boundary of figure first called surface and it is one of the surface of the solid mentioned above. Now, the boundary of surface that can be this or this of figure second is called line. Therefore, the boundary of surface is called line. Now, if our surface is of this type, then, then this boundary of the surface is called curve. So, what we conclude here? The boundary of any solid is called a surface and the boundary of any surface is called line or curve. And these lines end in points. For example, this here. So, these lines are end in points. Here, in each step, we lose one extension, is also called dimension. Therefore, a solid has three dimensions. Surface has two dimensions. Line has one dimension. And point has no dimension. Unit has given some definitions that are first is a point is that which has no part. Here, suppose this is a point, it has no part, it has no structure. Now, next is a line is breathless length. Here you can see a line AB. It is a breathless length. It has no thickness. There is no breadth of a line. So a line is a breathless length. Next is the ends of a line are points. We have discussed this already that the ends of a line are points. Next is a straight line is a line which lies evenly with the points on itself. It means if it is a straight line then it lies evenly with the points on itself. Now the next point is, a surface is that which, which has length and breadth only. Here, this is the surface. It has length and breadth. So, a surface has length and breadth only. Next is, the edges of the surfaces are lines. Here, we, concluded, we can conclude this point from point 3. That the edges of surfaces... Let us consider if one of the edge, let A B. So, the surface has a edge A B that is a line. Now, the next and last is a plane surface is a surface which lies on a straight line on itself. Unit assumes some properties not to be defined. Then he categorized these into axioms and postulates. He used the term postulate for the assumptions that are specific to geometry. And axioms, on the other hand, are the assumptions that will be used throughout the throughout whole mathematics, not specifically linked to geometry. Some of the unit axioms, not in his order, are first is things which are equal to the same thing are equal to another. 
For example, we have some plane figures here. If, according to this exoid, if the area of triangle is equal to the area of rectangle and if the area of rectangle is equal to the area of square, then the area of triangle will be equal to area of square. Now, second is, if equals are added to equals, the whole are equal. It means, magnitudes of same kind can be compared and added, but the magnitudes of different kind cannot be compared. For example, we cannot add a line with a rectangle. Or, an angle cannot be compared to a pentagon. Now, the next is, if equals are subtracted from equals, the remainder are equal. Here, the same concept is, that was in point 2, that, that the magnitudes of same kind can be compared and subtracted, but the magnitudes of different kind cannot be subtracted. Now, the next exoem is, things which coincide with one another, are equal to one another. It means if two things are identical, then they are equal to one another. For example, if these two triangles are identical, then they are equal to each other. Now, fifth exam is the whole is greater than the part. It gives us the definition of greater than. As we can say, if A is greater than B, means B is a part of A, then there exists some C, that is, A will be equal to B plus C. Here, if B is some quantity of A, then A will be equal to B plus some other quantity, that is C. Now, the next is, things which are double of the same things are equal to one another. It means, if triangle B is double of triangle A, then they are equal. Now, next is things which are half of the same things are equal to one another. Same as exoin number 6. Here, if one thing is half, here A is half of B and they are equal to each other. Now, Unit 5 postulate. Postulate first is a straight line may be drawn from any one point to any another point. For example, we have many points here. And a straight line can be drawn from any point to any point here. Now, as going, 5.1 says, if we have two distinct points, then there is only one unique line that will pass through them. No other line can pass through these two points. As we can see, No other line can pass through these two points. So, we can say there is only unique line that will pass through both these points. Now, we come to postulate 2. Postulate 2 says a terminate line can be produced indefinitely. It means if we have a line segment, say AB, then from any side, we can extend it to produce a line. So, a line segment AB can be converted into line by extending it from any side. Now, we come to postulate 3. Postulate 3 says, a circle can be drawn with any center and any radius. 
Now next postulate is all right angles are equal to one another. Now postulate five is if a straight line falling on two straight lines make the interior angle on the same side of it taken together less than two right angles that is 180 degree 90 plus 90 180 degree then the two straight lines if produced indefinitely meet on that side on which the sum of angle is less than two right angles for example let a b and c d are two lines and the line p q falls on these lines such that the sum of interior angles 1 and 2 is less than 180 degree on the left hand side of pq that is angle 1 plus angle 2 is less than 180 degree now if we produce these lines indefinitely they will intersect on left side of pq this is all about postulate 5 Now let's take an example. If A, B, C are three points of a line, then and B lies between A and C, then prove that A B plus B C is equal to A C. Now we have the following figure. A C is a line and B is a point between them. Euler equation four says that things which coincide with one another. are equal to one another here ac is coincide coincide with ab plus bc so ac is identical to ab plus bc and we can write ac is equal to ab plus bc by Euclid axiom four. Now there is another important thing to note down: two distinct points cannot have more than two points in common. So it is two distinct lines cannot have more than two points in common. As we can see here, two distinct lines that is A B. and cd and they have only one common point that is o in common